are in the jewel of Thailand, close to Pattaya. Hi and welcome! In this episode, I will show you three more must-visit places near Pattaya. This beautiful image of Buddha was made entirely at night using computer technology and laser. This is Nung Knut Tropical Garden. Then we will visit the most beautiful botanical garden in Southeast Asia. We will stroll along many thematic flower gardens. She's expecting food from me. Look what she's doing. He's punching in his corn and she's eating my dress. And feed the biggest fish in the world. Before I think this fish uh, probably just in a uh, ocean world in Thailand, in Bangkok, but here you can see so close and you can even feed them. Finally, we will fly over a picturesque Great Canyon of Chanburi and enjoy its views. We are in Grand Canyon, not so far from Pattaya city in Thailand. Welcome to Pattaya! Check my previous episode about Pattaya, where I showed you four more must-visit places. We looked at building miniatures all over the world in Mini Siam Museum. We saw rescued turtles in Royal Thai Navy Center. We stepped inside the most famous temple made entirely of wood without nails. And finally, we pet goats, sheep and rabbits in a farm. Click the link above to watch this video and I'm starting a new episode. Oh my god, it's 6 a.m. I woke up, ready to explore the new day. Everybody, good morning. The next morning, I woke up in a sheep farm, which I showed you in my previous video. I enjoyed sunrise views over sleepy Pattaya, now ready to bring you to see more amazing sights. The first place in my list is the Buddha Mountain or Khao Chi Chan. This is the largest carved Buddha image in the world. Chichan limestone mountain you can see the beautiful image of Buddha sitting with one hand on his lap and with another hand on his knee. This beautiful image of Buddha was made entirely at night using computer technology and laser. was engraved entirely at night because the laser was more clearly seen at night and during the day image was fixed and adjusted finally when all the work was done the image was filled with gold guided laser technology was the first of its kind introduced into the lines of the image of Lord Buddha this big beautiful image of Buddha is 109 meters in height and 70 meters in height was engraved in commemoration of His Majesty the King of Thailand for his Golden Jubilee. The area surrounding the mountain is full of lush greenery, shrubs and trees, making it a greater respite from noisy Pattaya. Once this uh, limestone mountain was used to supply the local construction industry with materials. And this it was an old carry. <music> the
the Buddha Mountain together with Nung Nuch Tropical Garden are main tourist attractions close to Pattaya. Beautiful Buddha. I, I don't know if I can say that. Beautiful Buddha, but the mountain with Buddha is really impressive. We are in a jewel of Thailand, close to Pattaya. This is Nung Knuch Tropical Garden. Nung Knuch Plants, Flowers, Garden of Thailand. This is the most famous, the most beautiful garden you can find everywhere in Thailand and probably even in the world. I'm not afraid to say this because look around, the view is just splendid. Right now we can observe beautiful French garden and if you look at this side you will see Stonehenge. You can also go and enjoy some Thai traditional costume shows here in Nung Nuch Tropical Garden. Nung Nuch Garden is no doubt one of the most beautiful botanical gardens in Southeast Asia. Located just in the outskirts of Pattaya, it is a must-visit site in your Pattaya trip. This two square kilometer botanical garden houses individually themed gardens representing different countries in different epochs, whether 17th century French garden, Stonehenge or European Renaissance garden. Now we are in Cactus and Succulent Plants Garden. Large and small, long and round, fluffy cacti are everywhere here. Very nicely designed orangeries allow you to get a closer look at all the plants. Now we are moving to the next area, Succulent Plants Garden. This is both educational and eye-opening pavilion for flower lovers. We are going to a French pavilion, at least we are trying to find. I like that it's written in several languages in Russian, Korean, Japanese, Thai and English for sure so for all people to know where to go the park itself is really big and I think it's really easy to get lost because there are so many many like different locations in different areas honestly I'm really impressed by the amount of work in this park it's so much hard work to preserve the park in the state it is now Meanwhile, the French garden, with its perfectly manicured shrubs, is modeled after the gardens of Versailles. Now we are walking through Bansai Garden with these cute little Japanese-style trees.
an amateur bird watcher, I always take my chance to spot birds. Thus, in one of the gardens, I spotted sooty headed bulbul. This dark headed brown bulbul with a bright red band is common in towns, plantations, and forest edges. This bulbul species is often seen in pairs and small flocks foraging at mid level and on the ground. If you like birds, wildlife, and nature, watch my playlist about it. I'm sure you will be amazed by adorable birds and animals in my videos, and maybe you will learn something interesting and new. Click the link above. And now, I will show you the biggest fish in the world. in my life I see so big now I will feed them I have tuna for them they are gonna eat tuna you will see how they're gonna catch so big they are my size guys really so big look He was punching me with points. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Woo! artificial sculptures of animals or dinosaurs or birds everywhere. I would prefer to have more natural landscape like in the Japanese park in Tokyo that I visited. It was one of the best parks that I really appreciated. So it was fully the natural landscape with trees and flowers everywhere without all of these, you know, artificial things around. <laughs> Different categories of people. For example, all these <laughs> beautiful. 
Apple stuff is made for kids because kids like to touch it and it's not really easy to have real animals here. Uh, for example, there you saw I was feeding uh, deers and it's also kids attraction, but I kind of like it. What about you? How do you like the park? What do you think about this park and which kind of parks in general do you like? Drop me a comment in the comment box and I will read them all and let's discuss together. This is my favorite garden of all the gardens of Nunt Nunt. It's pottery and orchid garden. Here you can see beautiful pieces of art from pottery and also you can find beautiful species and varieties of orchids and not only. Really peaceful, really tranquil. I'm really enjoying my time here. So if you are in Nunt Nunt, be sure to visit this area. It's not as touristic as other areas but mostly recommended by me. Garden started story. In 1954, a couple PC and Nunt Nunt Tansacha purchased the 800 acre plot of land. First, they intended to develop the land as a fruit plantation. However, then they decided to plant tropical flowers and plants instead, as a wildlife conservation project. The garden opened to the public in 1980 and management was transferred to Pisid and Nunt Nunt San, Kampon Tansacha, in 2001. Nowadays, the orchard nurseries include more than 670 native species of orchards and hybrids, making the place the largest collection in the country. This is my last destination for this video. Guess where we are? 
It's one of those things that you won't hear about in any Thailand guidebooks. <laughs> very dangerous, guys. I'm staying at the very edge and I will not try to walk a little bit more. I'm not walking, I'm just staying at the same place. Okay, anyway, we are in Grand Canyon, not so far from Pattaya city in Thailand. This place is called the Snow Mountain or the Great Canyon. The place is hidden deep within Kiri district of Chanburi and is a private property. You need to pay 10 baht entrance fee and you are ready to snap great shoots. This place is not so easy to find. Actually, even local people don't know about it because it's not written in any tourist books and nor any travel guides. So, uh, this place is kind of hidden and you really have to be precise for looking at it. For me, it looks like an abandoned mining site. In fact, it is a large ravine with a body of water. This Grand Canyon is located one hour away by car from Pattaya, which is quite close. And if you are really seeking for great photo opportunities, this place is just for you because if you want to have great snapshots, great landscape shoots, perfect match for you guys. Look around. Surely, even though it is called Snow Mountain due to its bright white color of the rock, there is no snow here. It's Thailand, baby! But it's cool to visit anyways. For me, this place reminds me a bit of Khao Sok Lake. Have you seen my videos about it? It's one of the most beautiful places to visit in Thailand. Click the link above to watch. And what about you? Have you visited similar places somewhere in the world? Which ones and where? Drop me your answers in comments. I hope you love it and if you do so, put me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel Nathalie's World for more amazing trips around the world. I will see you in my next episode. I love you all and bye bye. In my next episode, I will bring you to discover two Thailand provinces, Saraburi and Lokburi. So, I am in one of those beautiful sunflower fields here in Thailand, in Saraburi province. And <laughs> look, this is amazing, how beautiful! During sunflower growing season, many Thais head to sunflower fields around the country to snap their best Instagram shots. Saraburi field is one of the most beautiful of them all, and there I learned how to ride a horse for the first time. In Pukai Botanical Garden we will observe beautiful plants. The garden used to be called Heaven Garden by the people in Saraburi province because the place is filled with beautiful blooming wild flowers, giving out a great odor. We will also see some wildlife there. Oh my god, honestly guys, I'm a little bit afraid. You see, it's, he's coming, he's coming to me. In Pram Sam Yod Pagoda, I will be running away from crab-eating macaques, scavenging everywhere for food. 
and at the same time, I will somehow manage to film this beautiful pagoda for you. Honestly, I'm really like surprised that there are so many of them in the city center. It's like, I don't know if locals live like this with monkeys every day. I'm going to the top of the mountain to see a big Buddha. I have to hike up about 3,700 steps. And finally, in Lugbury province, I will fly a drone over an enormous and magnificent statue of Golden Buddha. What a view! Enjoy this all with me in my next episode. And keep traveling and discovering the world. It's worth it. Thank you.